What's up, YouTube? Brian here. Welcome back to 1517 Films, where in every episode, I am always contending for the faith once for all delivered to the saints. And on this episode, it's fun with filters. We're going to take two schools of thought on the topic of does God speak today and run them through the filter. See what I did there? Of proper biblical exegesis. Because there's two rules of thought on the topic of God still speaking today. One's biblical. And the other's popular. So let's get some analogies going, run them through the filter, and we'll do popular first. Stick around. Popular. I know all about popular. You know, when I got done with that potluck yesterday and went home, I had the worst time falling asleep. It was so... Mm. But when I did, you know, I think the Lord spoke to me in a vision. Oh, you ain't kidding, man. That beef stew Miss McKinnon made, I don't think it was cooked all the way through. My guts had me up all night. When I did sleep, I kept dreaming about Superman with the Godzilla tail. And I don't think that was a vision from God. I think it's more along the lines of when Charles Dickens wrote, there's more of gravy than grave to you. Don't be such a cynic. This was a vision from God. Look, I had a dream that I was in a field and there was this big burly man in my way. I don't know how big he was, but I could, he wouldn't let me pass and he kept hurling insults at me and I didn't know what to do. I'm like, I, do I throw stones at you? And, and when I woke up, God reminded me of the story of Davy and the giant and... I think God's trying to tell me that that there's some some people, big personality people in my way that are preventing me from reaching my God destiny. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You do know that even though the story of David and Goliath is history, it it's also a type and foreshadow. David is a type and foreshadow of, of Christ defeating the, the giant of sin, death, and the power of the devil. And that the five stones represent the five wounds in his hands, in his feet, and his side. How much of that beef stew did you eat? Whoo, girl. I think you need to go see a doctor. If I might quote Old Rose from Titanic, thank you for that fine forensic analysis. But my experience of it was much different. Okay? Don't question God's revelation. Are you serious? Revelation? Like, like full-blown God speaking directly to you revelation? Like, write it down in the empty pages in the back of your Bible under the book of bad beef revelation? Like, new revelation? Are you... Why don't we do a Bible study on being sober-minded and self-controlled? Okay, I think it would be really beneficial to dive into God's Word on this. We can start in, in Titus 2. There's some great content there about being sober-minded and self-controlled. Well, everybody, look at the Pharisee showing off how many Bible verses he has memorized. You know, Jesus doesn't care how many Bible verses you have memorized, Ryan. He really doesn't. Well, that's it. Game over. She played the Pharisee card. I mean, I totally lose. Uh, but I'm pretty sure God the Holy Spirit revealed to the author of Proverbs 7 that we should keep God's word and that uh, his, his commandments and his word should be the apple of our eyes. Uh, kind of pairs nicely with Jesus in the Gospel of John when he said, those who don't love me don't keep my words, and these words are not mine, but come to me from the Father. So it's almost like when the Godhead speaks, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they're all in agreement, and they say something different about your bad beef dream, don't they? Mm. If you're so insistent on quoting Bible verses, I don't understand why you're being such an insistent jerk. Don't you know the Bible says that they will know that we're Christians by our love? I don't think you're being very loving. Yeah, well, 
I don't think calling me an insistent jerk is very live, laugh, love of you, Karen. I'm assuming at this point you've had enough and you just want me to get the manager of Christianity on the phone. Riff rat, street rat, I don't buy that. If only they'd look closer. Arthur, buddy. Dude, that gamut look kite after men's Bible study last night was crazy, huh? Yeah, I remember my first Gamut Lakite, you kids. <laughs> that was a good Gamut Lakite, but uh, I can't get those notes out of uh, First Peter chapter three from Bible study out of my head. That was some. That was some powerful stuff. That was better than the Gamut Lakite, I think. Yeah, I, uh, I never made those connections before to the flood. Christ crucified, risen, baptism, I... Look, I think maybe I should go sit down and, and uh, reread the flood narrative out of Genesis. You got a mini? You wanna, you wanna go with me? I think I, in, in the, the water, and the boat, and the animals, I think I might have missed out on a lot of what God has to say uh, about who Jesus is uh, for you and for me. You wanna hit that up together? Hey man, I always got time for God's word. He's always revealing himself to us in, in, in the word and in his sacraments. And I think I'd love to, man. Hey, I got my Bible right here. You mind uh, starting this off right, saying a prayer before we dig into God's word? Hey, Art, that ain't a problem at all, man. I'd be glad to. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant us your Holy Spirit who writes the preached word into our hearts so that we may receive it, believe it, and be gladdened and comforted by it in eternity. Glorify your word in our hearts. Make it so bright and warm that we may find pleasure in it. And through your inspiration, think what is right. By your power, fulfill the word. For the sake of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. <laughs> it's a 10 million dollar question man does god still speak to us today absolutely positively he does through his word and it preaches to us christ crucified and risen for you until next time may god richly bless you and the grace and mercy won for you by jesus vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins